Hey gang, Sherry here and welcome to this edition of Travel Talk. Oh my goodness, I am so excited. I have a very special guest for you guys tonight and I cannot believe he's finally on my channel. So, so exciting. So uh, let's say hi to the chat real quick. Uh, now, if you are new, my name is Sherry. I am a travel advisor from the St. Louis area. This is Travel Talk. This is where we talk about all kinds of vacation cruise and Disney news and all kinds of deals and fun things. So meet us right here on Wednesdays at 7 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Central. If you like to travel or just to talk about travel, this is the channel for you. Make sure you subscribe, hit that like button, share it out to all your friends so we can grow our awesome sunsets, Ohana. Ohana means family. You are my family, and I love and appreciate each and every one of you. Let's dive right into the chat. See who's here. Okay, first in the chat, we have Rob, cruising on the high seas. Rob, hi, Rob. Oh, and Nathan was here earlier. I think it deleted his comment because he was here very, very early. Uh, hi, Rob. How are you? How are things up in Canada? There's Anthony, the Gator Simone. Hi, Anthony. How are things going out there in Florida? Hope you are having a wonderful day. And then there's Bucks Outdoors. That's our second channel. That's my husband's channel. So if you like outdoors kind of things, fishing, hiking, all that kind of thing, uh, go check out our second channel over there. And there's Traveling with Nick P, uh, St. Nicholas of the Trains. That's going to be your new nickname, St. Nicholas of the Trains. Good evening, everybody. I have some very promising stuff happening in my personal life. Oh, good for you. More than I could ever dream. Sometimes fairy tales just might come true. Hey, there's always hope. And always follow your dreams, right? Absolutely. Now, there's my channel again bucks outdoors our second channel telling you this is the link to our special guest tonight magnificent germany with darren he'll be here in just a second i'll bring him up and there's miss meg hi meg how are you glad to see you there's queet beat hi queet beat hope you're feeling better my friend i hear that you have been under the weather so uh big big feel good uh thumbs up for you well meg too meg's had the bug as well so everybody with the bug we're praying with praying for you and with you for uh 100 healing how's that all right oh and there's cheryl rosinski hi miss cheryl how are you my friend what is going on welcome welcome to the chat we have jonathan and shauna hi jonathan and shauna Welcome, welcome from the six traveling shorts. And then let's see who else we have. Oh, cruising scene. Hi, cruising scene. How are you? Welcome, welcome. Great to see. Been seeing you in a lot of chats lately. That's great, great, great. There's the six traveling shorts. Hi, Shauna. Hi, Jonathan. How are you guys? Hello to your whole family. All six of the traveling shorts. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Okay, so we're going to have some questions coming up here. Uh, we'll go through these here in a, in a bit. Uh, let's see if we have anybody else. We have Najuma. Hi, Najuma. How are you, my friend? Good to see you. Happy Wave Wednesday to you. And let's see who else we have. Mary Ellen Dillon in the house. Welcome, welcome, my friend. Hope your Hawaii cruise is going to be happening here shortly there's the tyler show hi tyler what's going on my friend thank you thank you for coming oh my goodness okay i think that's everybody for right now okay so uh i'll just come back to your um comments here in a little while um and then if you have any questions you can just uh repost them here but anyway i'll try to just um pop in the chat and say hi to the folks that come in uh while we are chatting so i want to go ahead and get started uh we have a very special guest tonight as i said i have been wanting to have him on my show forever since he started his channel i remember when he started his channel 
So, you know, this is uh, someone that I have looked up to and respected. And so I'm so happy to have him on the show. All right. You ready? Hey, hey Sarah, Sarah, how are you? <laughs> welcome, welcome. I'm happy to be here. How are you, my friend? Outstanding, outstanding. How are you doing today? Oh my gosh, couldn't be better. It's a new year. I have so much to look forward to. How about you? Oh, it's great. New year, new year. I'm on here with Sherry. Oh my goodness. This this is totally awesome. I usually get to watch your, your live streams, you know, the replay. And uh, not only yeah. do I get to see it live, but I'm, I'm here and as an honor. I'm very honored. Yeah, so, uh, You're here live. <laughs> so so I, I appreciate you having me. Oh, it's my, my pleasure. Believe me. And I, I you know, well, you have some famous things uh, about you and your channel. We'll get into that in here in just a minute. Sure. But first of all, I want to start out with. How did you get started on YouTube? And tell us a little bit about your channel. Well, I got started back in uh, 2019, February 2019, actually. Um, obviously, I love going to Germany, and I love to share everything about Germany. I, I like to share things that I like, and uh, and that's one of the things I like that I love to do. First of all, I'm a proud American. Okay, I serve in the United States military. I'm. I'm uh, yes, thank you for your service. Oh, thank you, thank you. The only German I have in me is this piece of metal I got from when I broke my leg. <laughs> and yeah, Pfizer gonna, 1 and Pfizer 2. We're, we're going <laughs> to get little, into that here a little right. later, too. And, and uh, But uh, my, my heritage uh, on my mom's side from uh, Irish, from uh, Ireland, dad's side from England. So okay. uh, I just happened to spend six years of my life in, in beautiful Germany uh, over a period of time. I was there as a kid because my dad was in the military, too, the United States Army. Okay, so, so uh, when you when you were in Germany was when your dad was in the service, not when you were in the service, or both. Both, both. both. Yeah, yeah. First, first when I was, when I was a kid, that's when I first had spaghetti ice. Okay, all <laughs> and right. Then, and then, uh, and uh, then uh, when I went in the military myself, and that's for for a total of six years. Okay, living, I got gotcha. you living in Germany, and uh, so I started my channel just to you know I want to share, you know I, I want to just help people travel, you know I, I, I enjoy traveling. And uh, I, I'm going to help as many people as possible. So I started offering, hey, if anybody would like to have like an itinerary or whatever, I'll be glad to sit down with you and, and help help set up an itinerary. It's uh, like a personal guide. For fun. And, and that was my channel to begin with. It was Germany Travel slash Personal Guide. Okay. And, and, and uh, so I, I was trying, you know, just trying to get get out there, you know, put my name out there just, just to, you know, to, to share with people, hey, I'm here to help. Mm -hmm. And uh, it just evolved over time. But uh, that, that's how it started. Oh, that is just amazing. And so tell us kind of how your channel has grown. Uh, you know, how many subscribers do you have and all that kind of thing? Sure. Uh, it's, grown, it's grown a lot uh, here lately, really uh, the past year. Um, mm -hmm. I'm a little over uh, 1,100 or something like that. Le okay, 1,100. Okay, I was thinking that. So, are you part of the partner program yet? One thousand one seventy nine. I'm looking at one thousand one seventy nine. Yeah. So, uh, I I have not put it on there yet. Um, uh, I I did get everything approved, ready to go, but okay. recently, and uh, I just haven't congratulations. I haven't clicked the button yet. So uh, okay, but yeah. at least you've qualified. Uh, right. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yay, that is such an accomplishment. Believe right. me, because I've been trying to do it for years and haven't yeah. been able to. But well, that I've been watching your so stuff, and, and 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 you you do an amazing job. I love your live streams. Thank you know, you. And, and sometimes it might be two o'clock in the morning. I'm listening to Sherry. <laughs> you, you know, <laughs> and I'm like, wow. I wish I was there. I was there live. I was like, can interact. Yeah. yeah. But oh, uh, thank yeah, you. I, I enjoy you. I I appreciate you and everybody else. Uh, your support it just means so so much to me. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about. Uh, you just got back from Germany, but I want to go back to your previous trip to Germany and let us tell us about your, um, you, you said you have a piece of Germany, uh, that will always be yes, with you. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. So it's a piece of time. Tell us how that happened. Well, 
I was just like Kermit the Frog, minding my own business. Okay, just just sitting there. Now I have a bad back anyway. Now yeah. I actually, now I, I only had two broken bones in my life. Well, actually four counting all on at the same time, and it all happened in Germany. The first time I broke my back in Germany, serving the military, I was paralyzed for oh. almost four months. Told mm. I never walk again. That's another story. Okay. But when I was there last June, in fact, on July 1st, my goal that day was to go up the, the Selbon, the gondola up there, take a look, and then go back down. There's this lake in Germany. I love to swim in it. So it's a crystal clear lake with a, the, the mount, snow-capped mountains right above you. You can swim. You got snow-capped mountains, the, the reflection. It's just a beautiful lake. And that was my goal, to go up there and look around. Oh, okay, here I am. And then go back go swimming. I was by myself. And that, that's another thing. The Auspitze, where I was going, um, I've never been to. I've been to the Zuspitze, which is right above it, probably 30 plus times. Oh, but wow. I've never, as a time purpose or, or we're not, not able to go to the Auspitze. But I was by myself this trip. I was like, I'm going to go to the Auspitze. <laughs> I do that. Well, long story short, okay, I go up there, I'm looking around. Oh, this is cool. All right. And I started talking to people. Go figure. I love people. You know, I, I, lo I love good folks, you know, like yourself. And, uh, that's but, what I uh, love about you. You know, it's like almost like you never met a stranger, but go ahead. <laughs> right, right. Well, I started talking to this German couple and they were, they were very friendly and talkative. I said, Hey, what's up? <laughs> you know, and uh, they were saying, hey, Well, hey, have you heard the movie, movie uh, the movie Sound and Music? I'm like, Yes, I've heard Sound and Music. He goes, uh, Well, if you go down this little trail down there, you'll see a little uh, a plaque where where she's dancing. The hills are alive. Oh, that, that scene, that, that, that spot is right there. I'm like, really? Wow. I'm, like, I'm down. That's so a I, famous spot. Yeah. That's right. So I, I look down and the path looks great. Great. I mean, from up here, it looks great. I mean, look, this is easy. I can go down there. I, I was walking with my cane anyway, just, just, just to be safe. Okay. And so I start take, I started walking a little bit and then uh, I actually stopped at one point and I was vlogging the whole way. You go back, there's a video where I vlogged it and I actually stopped. And I'm like, I better stop because I don't want to be in a hospital or in a uh, my hotel room for three days because I was I was just decided to think. I actually vlogged that, and 20 minutes later, I'm going down this mountain. Everything and it's getting steeper and steeper. Now the, the hills like this, the incline, it's a mountain. But I'm going down the trail, so I'm like this, basically walking on my toes. And uh, I just happened to see on the right hand side where it says this is the the, the spot where, and uh and I said to myself, wow. God, this is a beautiful thing you made here. And then I, I slipped on a rock. When I slipped on the rock, because the incline, I heard the, <clears throat> I mean, you heard it. It pops. And uh, boom, I hit the ground. And I sat oh there for two hours by myself without anybody coming. It's getting cold. It's July 1st, but the snow patches up there. No yeah. one's around, no cell service. And then finally, this guy from Dusseldorf came came down and, and, and it says, hey, do you need some help? I'm like, yeah, I need some <laughs> I need he, he, he had his broken English. I had my broken German. And so we, he goes, I'll, I'll walk down there. So he walked, he left and it was another hour and a half before he came back. I also, I see his little spot come back up. You've and, been uh, there came, like four hours by this point. huh? He, yes. Yes. Oh, so he okay. came, he came back and he goes, well, I have some news. We have someone coming. I'm like, Oh, great. Thank you. Don't <laughs> And, uh, he, uh, he says, well, it's probably gonna be a helicopter. I'm like, a helicopter. A helicopter. I gotta refinance my house for that. Just leave me up here. He's he's laughing. Uh, I said, I said, any other options? Well, they may come up a, up with an ambulance. So I'm like, how are they gonna go up here in an ambulance? Well, long story short, all of a sudden I hear this noise and it's an ambulance coming up this hill, this mountain. Wow. But it's not a regular ambulance. It's a it's a four wheel drive ambulance. I'm, the tires are, are big, I mean huge tires and everything. I saw it coming up. Wow. And I was actually so you know. I thought it was pretty cool. I'm like, wow, look at this. I'm so much fan. I'm like, wow, that's pretty cool. I'm taking pictures of the, of the ambulance coming up. <laughs> I was like, whoa. And, uh, I see the same way, probably. <laughs> and I, I was like, whoa, this is all right. Well, oh. long, long story short, they they get me, they wrap me up, take me down. Another ambulance speaks me down there at the bottom of the mountain, and they take me to the hospital. And that's when the doctor said, you know, they're all the x rays and everything. He goes, uh, you, you, you broke your, your fibula uh, in two places. You're going to need surgery and, and all this a metal, piece of metal. I'm like, okay, just wrap me up and uh, I need to get back on the plane to the States. And he says, nine. I went, 10. He goes, no, <laughs> nine. Nine meaning no. Huh? Oh, yes. 
<laughs> and it, it, it's, uh, there's no option because you're very critical. Uh, we cannot let you go. You're, you're, uh, you're, you'll, you'll die. I'm like, oh, I don't want to die. So no. uh, I, got lost, I got a lot of spaghetti I see. And That's goes, right. Oh. <laughs> I said, I agree. Y'all know what spaghetti I see. But so, uh, and it was long story short, nine days in the hospital. I had to wait six days for it to, uh, for the, the, the swelling to go down. And then finally they, uh, they did, did the surgery. And then I, I was there like four days and then I was out. I couldn't travel for four more days, but that's my story. Oh my gosh, Darren. And I know you've, you've talked about that before and I know you are a man of faith and that man that came up there and helped you came out of nowhere, nowhere, nowhere. and may I share this. Um, now, now people might think I'm crazy and that's okay. That, that's okay. But th that's this, is, this is how it is. <laughs> There's no, I, I speak the truth. You know what I mean? Uh, when they put me in the ambulance and everything up there, everything, I said, please tell that guy in that black jacket. I said, uh, thank you very much. And, uh, the guy was like, what, what guy? I said, the guy in the black jacket, he goes, there's no one up here. It's getting dark by the way. And uh, he goes, there's, there's no one else up here. He goes, I said, no, there's a guy. He, he's the one who went there and got somebody. He goes, we don't know what you're talking about. We got the call over the radio. So. And then he just disappeared. Gone. Never seen him since. Wow. I, oh. I, don't, I don't know. Now, that doesn't give you guys in chat chill bumps. I don't even know. No, it's, I, I, I told somebody that and they like, looked at me like, I had 10 heads. I'm like, well, you, you want to make up something? That's what happened. <laughs> That's you know? what happened. You can't make this stuff up. <laughs> no. I mean, I got goosebumps wow. now. Just, just I know, me too. I'm just like, wow. <laughs> it's, 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 so, it's amazing. Yeah, God is good and we're grateful. So <laughs> All right. you got that right. I'm glad that you were fine and you got fixed up and home and then you got healed up and everything. And so this time... When you went back, this is the first time since that happened, right? Right, right. Okay. Now, this time your family was with you? That's right. My wife, my two children, my sister-in-law, and uh, my friend of mine, Tina, and her daughter. And uh, they have, all have never been to Germany before. My wife and oh, kids okay. have, but uh, it, it was fun. Total of seven, including me, that uh, they were there. No, oh. No incidents whatsoever. No well, broken thank bones. God for that. But oh, no <laughs> so, bad. tell us what all you did. Well, okay, we we uh, we left here out of out of Atlanta, Atlanta, GA, and uh, the G stands for Gator. Uh, that's yeah. where I'm a Georgia. That's where, that's where I'm a Georgia for us. Yeah. <laughs> Florida boy living in Georgia. Florida boy, yeah. And, yeah, and uh, so uh, we went, we flew out of Frankfurt and we landed in. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, flew out of Atlanta, landed in Frankfurt, uh, got our rental van. Uh, oh. On the airplane over, I was talking to some of the, the stewardess there in, in the back. I, I stand up a lot in the back and, you know, and talk because I can't sit long. Your can't back hurts, long. yeah. I go back and forth. So they're saying, well, hey, you know, there's a Christmas market in Frankfurt. And I was like, well, I was told all Christmas mm -hmm. markets in Bavaria um, have been canceled, which is true. He goes, well, oh. yeah, it's nothing to do with the mayor in Frankfurt uh, because it's Franconia. It's, a different, it's the very upper portion of Bavaria decided to leave it open. I'm like, oh, are you kidding me? Because we're I already told everybody, sorry guys, no Christmas. That was the main thing. We're gonna Aww, yeah. and, and all that. And uh but uh, I'm like really so we got the van, we got a, a, uh rented the van there at the airport and then we found the Christmas market, which I remember exactly where it was uh from the 80s when I was stationed there. So yeah. uh, let, let's go. And uh we found it and it, we got there right when it opened and I got to enjoy the uh the atmosphere um i was still i was still in my shorts it was cold but i don't care i was comfortable i don't want to stop for to change you know i was like i don't i just want to go i'm, I'm in germany i want to go yeah lo and behold i'm 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 i've long because i made a video of that as well um i found a spaghetti ice shop oh darren's favorite i'm sitting there standing there i have my daughter said here film me for a second and so she's sitting there free she's got a jacket on she's like <laughs> I'm in my shorts eating ice cream. You see people walking by looking at me like, who is this crazy American? Who is this crazy guy? Ice cream in the middle. It's freezing at a Christmas market. But, but it was a must. So it, it was a must. Tell it. Tell us a little bit about what spaghetti ice is. Oh, my goodness. Did you say the word spaghetti, spaghetti ice? Spaghetti oh. ice, yeah. Well, folks out there, I, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll get it in a nice, concise, but clear manner. 
All right. In Germany, there are no preservatives. In fact, it's a law of 1516. No preservatives, no, no, no anything added to anything. It's against the law. Isn't that crazy? They will find you, they will put you in jail if you put too much, if you put any high fructose corn syrup in anything. Wow. They will literally take you to jail. But anyways, sp let's get spaghetti ice. Okay. Mm -hmm. Spaghetti ice is this frozen concoction of vanilla ice cream. Okay. <laughs> with all kinds of stuff on it. It starts out with a chilled plate. Oh, chill plate. I'm, I'm gonna ask. Ooh. I'm gonna ask you to help me out, Siri. Can we help me out with this? Okay. okay. Can, can you say chilled plate? Chilled plate. Oh my goodness. Okay, got a chill plate. Then, because there are no preservatives, everything's fresh over there, right? Can you say fresh? Fresh. Fresh. Oh my goodness. He said fresh. So they take this fresh cream, and they they, they put this fresh cream. You know what? It's so fresh. Guess what it's doing. It's mooing. <laughs> Moo. So you, you, you get this fresh, fresh, fresh cream on there. All right. And then, <laughs> and then here comes the ice cream. Okay. The spaghetti. We'll, we'll call it spaghetti. They put it through this potato press. Okay. And it, and it comes out and it looks like spaghetti, like spaghetti noodles coming out, but it's ice cream. It's vanilla mm. ice cream. Now it tastes different than ours. Now ours is, we have outstanding ice cream, but they have outstanding ice cream too, but it, it just tastes different. You got this luscious fresh oh, from the cow Ooh, ice cream i mean vanilla is, is is great then you need marinara sauce you need spaghetti sauce on your, on your yes. spaghetti, right? not only do they take strawberries but they take guess what can you say fresh 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 strawberries, strawberries and they squeeze it straight, oh. fresh, straight from the berry itself and it, and it keeps going down 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 and there's your your sauce and then, do you like Parmesan cheese on your spaghetti? Oh, yes, 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 please. please. They, they take white chocolate. They take the white chocolate, and they cut up all the white no. chocolate, and, they, and that's your Parmesan cheese. Oh. And one more thing. I'm not done yet. All mm. right? Now, I like garlic toast. Uh, I, I got proof. I love garlic toast. <laughs> okay? But you don't want to put real garlic toast on your fresh spaghetti ice, right? Right. You take a vanilla wafer. Or a vanilla and chocolate wafer, or just plain vanilla, plain chocolate, and you stick it in there. So, so stick it in there for me. Go like this. <laughs> and you stick it in there. All right. Now, now this this is for the thing here. Now, now this this is for the the the, the Monty here. Okay. Okay. When you take your first, take your spoon. You can take your finger or whatever you want for your spoon. And once you do this, your lips gonna quiver. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. It is so good. It will make you quiver and oh, oh. shake and, and 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 do the Elvis. I mean, it, I mean, it's, it's good stuff. So that, my friend Sherry and everybody listening, is spaghetti ice, and I love spaghetti ice. That is amazing. <laughs> but why did I ask that? <laughs> I have to. I have to try it. I really, really have to try it. I'll have to see if there's somebody here in St. Louis that makes it. Oh boy. I bet uh, I can pr probably get it on the hill somewhere like that. Well, you know, uh, I actually made a video of making spaghetti ice uh, last April, April 4th last now. It's cool. when the pandemic was first starting. I, I'm a wife, my kids helped me. We were all doing it right there in my kitchen. I had the, the special thing that I call the Jigma Jinga. And, uh, and uh, we did the whole thing, and, and it, it was great. Plant based spaghetti ice. <laughs> I doubt it. <laughs> right. <laughs> you want to hear something funny? Now, what? I talk a lot about spaghetti ice. Okay, I, I, I love spaghetti ice, and 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 it, it, I, I first had spaghetti ice when I was eight years old. Okay, so this wow. is back in the seventies. So this is in seventy-seven. Okay. Okay. So it was a Wednesday night because every Wednesday night after church, the whole church went to the, went to this ice cream shop. Wednesday okay? night ice ice cream after church makes sense to me. That that's right, and that's when I found spaghetti ice. I'm like, is that spaghetti? I'm gonna try some of that. <laughs> Ooh, it, it, it was great. That that's when it started. It's always been a, a piece of me. Just last night, I was looking around uh, on you. I love I'm a, I love YouTube. I yeah. was spaghetti ice in there. All we'll right. And there's this guy that came up. A guy. He's a missionary in Germany. Okay. And he goes, yeah, being a missionary in Germany, I found something new here. Now this is filmed in 08. But uh, so I kept listening, and all of a sudden, spaghetti ice, and he got passionate and excited just like i do about spaghetti ice i'm like is this my man <laughs> <laughs> well he, and he was talk, getting all excited about it i'm like oh yeah. my goodness so uh i sent him an email hey i haven't responded yet but i said hey i love spaghetti ice too <laughs> that's crazy 
All right. So you got you some spaghetti ice first thing when you went to Germany. Yes, and did. then what did you do? All right. From Frankfurt, we went to my place where I, where I lived and called home for two years, a place called Schweinfurt, Germany. A lot, tons of history uh, for Schweinfurt. I used to live there in the Leverd Barracks. You got Leverd Barracks and Con Barracks. Uh, my main job was uh, field artillery. We were the big boys, the big guns. We, we were on, mm -hmm. I went on the tube. I was on the, it looks like a tank, but it's artillery. And uh, so I was on the leverage side. Uh, but went to Swiver, spent two days there. And uh, our goal was to spend uh, or uh, attend the Christmas market there. And then the next night, go to the Bamberg um, Christmas market. Okay, but which Christmas markets were canceled. But we made the best of everything. They still have the, 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 the towns all dressed up for Christmas, but just not. Oh, the oh I guess that was beautiful. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh. It was very beautiful. And and I, I made it some videos of that. Okay, uh, good. And uh, in fact, my last three videos are from our trip, and I got about four more left on this trip because every Monday I put out new stuff. But uh, anyways, we, we spent time in Schweiber, and then I, I visited friends. We, we all got together. Uh, they met us in downtown Schweiber, went out to eat. Uh, just, just had a good time. Next day, went to Bamberg, walked around, uh, went to the famous city hall. There, there's like a river with a city hall in between the river. Uh, it, it's just, 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 just beautiful. Sounds breathtaking. Oh yes. From there, we went to. Oh, oh. Let me, let me backtrack a little bit. Have you, have you heard of Angie? Veronica's around. I don't know. She, uh, she, uh, she's in Germany. She's Filipino born. Okay. Oh, okay but grew up in Australia. Okay. So, so she's Filipino. This was perfect English, perfect <laughs> Filipino, perfect German. Yeah. Married, met his, met her husband of 22 years in college. They fell in love. They've been married 20 oh. years, living in Germany. They have grown kids and one more kid left in the, in the, in the house. And it was, right. uh, she, she is awesome. We got to meet up with them on the, that was on the very first day after we left the market, or uh, the Christmas market in Frankfurt. We, we met up with them near Hatterberg. And, and ate with oh, them. Oh, cool. So that, that, I didn't want to miss, you know, skip that one there. But it's uh, so cool to be able to meet people that you met on YouTube, meet them in person, especially yeah. halfway across the world. That's crazy. That's right. That's right. Like, like with your trip, you know, like the Branson. I mean, I, I so, you know what? I, some people knew this, but um, I was, I was going to just pop up out there. That was before I broke my back. I broke my back. Yeah. And uh, that, my goal was to, I'm just going to pop up. No, don't say anything I'll pop out there and, and just boom, you know, but, uh, you know, things happen. Things happen. That's right. And I heard y'all had a great time there. We really did. And we're doing it again in November, November 7th through the 13th. 13th. So if anybody's interested, uh, let Blaine know and he can give you the details or me, either one. Absolutely. It, it was good. It was good stuff. From there, we went to Rothenburg. Okay, Rothenburg is the oldest working medieval town that still that still works. I mean, it, it, it's wow. a town that's still going. Still has the city walls. You can walk on the walls and all that stuff. Went there. Uh, next day, went to Hatterberg. Spent the whole, uh, whole day in Hatterberg. Uh, going to Hatterberg Castle. Walking around the town of Hatterberg. Just beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Um, Gorgeous. We stayed at a farmhouse. Um, in fact, my last video that I put out last Monday, uh, there you could, I video some of the farmhouse there and information on if anybody ever wants to stay there, you know, it's there. It's, it's beautiful. And then from there, we went to, oh my goodness, Garmish. Garmish. Garmish is so beautiful. Oh, wow. And that's where we're having uh, the second meetup for two, two, 2022, 2022 okay. uh, in June. I got one in March in Helen, Georgia. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we're going to talk about that here in a minute. Okay. And, and the one in uh, in June, that's where uh, Garmisch. Garmisch has got the place called the Zugspitze. It's the highest Ooh. peak in Germany. That's the same mountain where, you know, I can swim. You can see the reflection off of it. You can see uh, Switzerland, uh, the French Alps, the Swiss oh. Alps, French Alps, Italian Alps, Austrian Alps. Of course, the German Alps standing in one spot. You just flip around. Oh, my oh, God. Wow, here it, you're, you're, it's, it borders Austria. And uh, so when we have that meet up in June, we're going to that sounds incredible. meet up there and then have lunch on the Austrian side. They come back down and probably eat again on the German side. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, they got all kinds of stuff up there. But uh, wow. we spent uh, six days there and, and I took them all over. I took them to Neusselstein Castle, the castle where uh, Walt Disney World himself, uh, he um, got the idea for the Cinderella Castle. Yeah. Right, right behind me, the Neusselstein. Mm -hmm. uh, it's kind of glaring, but I got the... Yep. That's where we got the idea for the Cinderella Castle for both yep. parts. And uh, 
there and took it to Mittenwald. It's the home of the violin. They make violins there. It had been since like the 900, something like that. Uh, Omer Amergal, which has the best spaghetti ice in the world. Oh, and, yeah? And, and, oh, and Omer Amergal. Omer Amergal, I, I, I will have to share this. And, 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 and just, just tell me to hush because I, I, I could talk. No, you just keep talking. No. Okay. okay. The, the Omer Amergal uh, has a, a lot of history. Okay. And it goes back to the 1634 plague, European plague. Um, true story is it's called the vow. Uh, people were dying left over right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Like 1634. Well, the mayor of the town of the town over Amargal, he called all the people that live there to the city center because we need to pray. We need to pray and ask God to, to spare us and everything. And yeah. And, and he, he, he says, we, we'll, we'll tell everybody about live death, resurrection, da, 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 da. Well, uh, long story short, no one else died from that point on. People in oh. next towns over five miles away, three miles away. Other, they were dropping like flies, but not one person died. Wow. And to this day, I'm cutting out a lot of stuff. There. I'm getting cold chills again, Darren. Oh, yeah. Uh, to this day, every 10 years, they have a like a, a passion play where they show the mm -hmm. life, death, resurrection every 10 years. Of course, it was supposed to be last year, but the uh, our, the new plague. The, yeah, the new plague. The C word. The C -word. Yeah. Okay, but it's going to happen this year. They're going to have it this year. Um, and all the people that that's in this play are descendants from the people in the 1630, from 1634. Oh, wow. The only way you could be a, a part of that play is to be a descendant or live there for 20 years in a professional capacity. You got to be okay. a doctor. Okay, see, I didn't know that part of it. Yeah, and, and, and it's all right there. And uh, so I got to show uh, my, my family. I'm like, well, this is where it happened. I took them to the very spot. There's like a waterfall there. Uh, like like a little statue type thing, uh, not water ball, but like a statue type thing, where yeah. where uh, had the whole town just prayed, and it's and it's still there, and uh, it, it, it's just real neat. Never gets old, and has the best spaghetti ice. There. And has the best spaghetti ice, so definitely worth the trip. <laughs> oh yes, oh yes, and and from from there we just went to all these little small mitten ball and all these other small towns and just enjoyed ourselves in gar beautiful garments. Garmish Park to Curse. There's so much history there, too. Uh, part of the Olympics there in the, in the 30s was was there. Jesse mm -hmm. Lewis ran there uh, back in the 33, wow. 34, whatever year that was. Amazing. And made that, uh, I won't say his name, but the, guy, the mad man, starts with the H, made him very angry. Uh, mm -hmm. But uh, right there, so because Jesse Owen showed him up. Okay, we're, we're going to tear you up here. <laughs> and uh, it, it, it worked. But it was a wonderful time, glorious time. We got back last, last Wednesday, uh, no incidents. Uh, had plenty of food, lots of spaghetti ice. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, so tell us a little bit about the food. What, what type of food uh, did you have? What was your favorite? What was your not so favorite? <laughs> well, my favorite, my 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 favorite favorite is 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 it's on every menu and it has three letters, A L L, all, <laughs> all, all, all of it. No, but uh, one of my favorites is swine hacks. Okay, it's like okay. it's a big clunk of, of pork with like a gristle on top of it. Okay. I mean, you, you, you bite into it, it goes, <laughs> yeah, uh, and then underneath that, just the fresh, watery, the meat part of it. Uh huh. Then you got your potatoes, not only potatoes, but uh, potato dumplings. Uh, they, they come in like, like, potato balls like that, and, okay. and they're nice and soft, and oh. And then, of course, the vegetables. I love asparagus in Germany. They got a what they call white asparagus. It has to be the, the season. Now, I didn't have any spaghetti, uh, asparagus right now uh, because it went in season. But it you go right. June, uh, June, July, even uh, even coming. And they the, don't use preservatives, right? None, none, none whatsoever. Wow. Everything's so good. And they also have this dish. One of my favorite dishes is roulade. It's a beef rolled up with a pickle in it. Uh, you got to, you, oh, it, it's it's good, and and you put the uh, like the uh, sauerkraut on it, mm -hmm. oh, and eat. Oh, just just luscious. <laughs> I mean, all kinds of soup. There's salads. If you are you a salad fan? I do. I love salads. I do too, and and they have the freshest salad. I like a nice cold salad. You know, I like yeah. One of my, one of my favorite now. It, it's a, it's a it's a uh, chain, but I but I but I love it. It's Longhorn Steakhouse. To me, they got the best, nice, cold, chill salads, you, you know, right, right yeah. there. But uh, their salads, I mean, it's like you go there, like in Germany, it's like they went out back and picked it out of the garden. I mean, they probably did. They probably did. <laughs> 
you know, in um, Burgess Garden, oh, there, uh, something I left out too, I, I will tell you this. But in Burgess Garden, um, they I went to a restaurant one time where you order your food, and I ordered my food. I, I kid you not, I didn't know, realize what they were doing. It was taking a while. Now, I know it, it, it takes a while. for When you go to a German restaurant, you're getting something fresh. Nothing that's been held in a box or nothing. It's, it's going to be fresh. But I didn't know order. how fresh this was. They went, I asked, I, I um, ordered swine axa. They went out and butchered a fresh oinker. Wow. He made it like that. And he goes, is it good? And he goes, oh, yeah. Yeah, we just butchered them. I'm like, what? <laughs> <laughs> while i was sitting there <laughs> and I, I was like oh my goodness it was good <laughs> it well was... you know that's always been a running joke you know when you go to a restaurant it takes so long it's like what did you have to do butcher the cow well there you go <laughs> <laughs> that, that's right and they butchered that pig all right oh boy wow. something i did uh I, I, I missed out a lot of lots of but one i i gotta tell you uh <laughs> speaking of meeting people i love meeting people especially you meet on youtube i met so many people so far and i can't wait to meet you sherry in person you know, yeah. and, uh, you and your husband, that, that, that's going to be awesome. Because I, I enjoy his Buck Outdoors, too, by the Thank way. Thank you. Uh, make sure you check out her husband's uh, channel, Buck Outdoors. Because uh, if you like outdoors like I do, you will like it. Yeah, uh, and there's going to be lots more coming. So. Oh, nice. I, I love so to fish. I'm, I, yeah. I'm that guy. Yeah. See, that's but, why you, you would love Branton, because there's nothing but lakes and fishing everywhere. Oh, so. See, I, like, I, love, I love that. I love yeah. that. On our trip while we were in Garmisch, uh, we had prearranged to meet my friend Eric, Eric Zort. Okay, Eric lives in Austria. Uh, he's an Austrian tour guide, actually, in, okay. in Austria. But we've been friends. You've been on your channel before, right? Yeah, yes. In fact, he was my first international, um, first international interviewer. Yes, first, yeah, that's First awesome. I interviewed at all. Okay, it was my very first one over a year ago now, and uh, and that's when I realized. Wait a minute. He's because I used to go on at seven o'clock on Saturdays. And now I'm eleven o'clock in the mm -hmm. morning on Saturday, and I and, and he's yeah. I set my alarm. I'm like, what? Did, oh, the time changed. I'm so sorry. So now that's why I changed it to eleven <laughs> to hit fit the the time schedule. His schedule, right. yeah. Right. But I, I met him on uh, my friend uh, Walters World, um, Mark oh, okay. Walters, and, huh? and Jocelyn Walters, uh, because they they had uh, like live streams and everything, and that's how we met because we had community like this. Everybody came up and told, oh hey, what's up? And yeah. we just all kept in touch. Well, for um, I was supposed to meet him that time in, in in June when I was there, June and July of this past year, and I was supposed to go back in September, but I was healing, yeah, um, and to meet up. But this time, finally, we met up. We took a train from Garmisch, Swiss trains in Munich, got on a train from Munich straight to Salzburg, uh, Austria, where Sound of Music was made. You know nice. that big, you know that big castle in, in Sound of Music. Yeah, we went from there uh, went to the church. Where remember the wedding scene where she got married? Mm -hmm. I stood right there where 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 oh this is where she got married. Where so, all that was filmed. And I didn't realize it then until I was watching. I watched the movie on the plane all the way back. Yeah, plenty of time to watch the movie. It's yeah, yeah, there and you go. And I, my wife was next to me. I'm like, look, we were right here. Look, I kept pulling up, and she's like, shh. I was getting excited. Look, we were here. We were look, look, look. But look. <laughs> <laughs> but it, it was cool to see all those sides and see Eric. Eric. Eric was a perfect host. He, he, he drove almost three hours to come, come meet us at the train to walk us around. Awesome. And uh, uh, it, I, I just really appreciate him uh, doing that. We, we got pictures. I put pictures on my uh, Facebook group page and everything. And it was just really neat. That is awesome. Well, I'm so glad you guys had a great, great time. We'll look forward to all of the pictures and vlogs and everything coming out on your channel from this past trip. Now I want to talk a little bit about Helen, Georgia. Ooh. So you've really piqued my interest and I've been looking at it and oh my gosh, it looks fabulous. And you have a meetup. So tell us about the meetup and then tell us about the town. Yes, I, I sure will. We have a meetup coming up uh, the weekend of March 11th, 11th, 12th, 13th. Okay. Um, looking forward to it. little history on that. It started out, it even started out as a meetup last year. Uh, Blaine and I were talking on, on a live stream one day, and it was late at night. We, you know, no one's around. Blaine's now. always involved in these things. Yeah, we're, right, exactly. <laughs> we're, we're, we're talking, and we're going to meet for Spaghetti Ice, because I, I have some friends there who has a has a Spaghetti Ice shop mm -hmm. in Helen. Uh, her name is Dee. She's she's German. Uh, she's a retired uh, principal, uh, and he is an American, retired uh, Army helicopter pilot. 
and everything. And they own the shop. So this is their, their second career. <laughs> and, yeah. uh, anyways, and so, well, hey, let's meet up there for spaghetti ice together. Well, well, yeah. And that was it. So it wasn't really a meetup. It was just him and I, Hey, I'll meet you up there. Yeah. Yeah. Next thing I know, I get a, a, a message about two hours later. Uh, I just booked my flights people from Massachusetts. And I'm like, <laughs> what, for what? And the meetup. Oh, hey, meet what are you talking about? A meetup? <laughs> what? And then about five minutes after that, a guy named Raphael Vizo. Oh. He sends a message. Hey, Darren, I, I think I'm going to try to make it to your, to your meetup. I'm like, what meetup? What meetup? <laughs> yeah. uh, and that's when I said, let's have a meetup. Okay, so, I guess we're having a meetup. <laughs> so, hey, we're going to have a meetup. Whoever wants to come, come. <laughs> you know? And, uh, and and it wasn't advertised, nothing. It was just, uh, and 30, I think 38 people showed up. Uh, wow. Isn't that something? Washington State, uh, flew in from Washington State, Texas. Um, I mean, I mean it, it, it was pretty wild. That's incredible. And now it's involving, of course, Kenneth was there, four man. He, I don't know if you saw that video that I made uh, last, last March. Yes. If you guys haven't seen the Helen Georgia video, go watch it on Darren's channel. Oh boy! I tell you what, I, I I got the one that came out last March, and then the one that came out, I was sort of sort of like an advertisement for the the, the meetup. But it shows Kenneth. Kenneth has cerebral palsy, and and that's some other issues going on. First of all, a great young man. Oh my goodness, his heart is not unstoppable. I mean, he, unstoppable. And absolutely, uh, I kept trying to give him outs. You know, I said, Kenneth, we're, we're all going up to Anna Ruby Falls to see this fall, and it was uphill. I said, Kenneth, I, I mean, you don't want to hurt yourself, or you. I'm determined. I said, I know you're determined, Kenneth, but I don't, I don't want to see you hurt. That's okay. I'm going to do it. And he, he looked at me in his eyes. I'm, I said, I'm by your side. So we stood by his side, all of us, Raphael, all of us, Blaine, everybody. And and it took them a long time to get up there. And, and a lot of people passed us and everything. And uh, I said, I got to film this. So I got up there ahead of him a little bit. And I was, I was filming. And he got up there. All these people that passed us, I mean, it, I felt like I was in a Hallmark movie. They were <laughs> clapping. And I was like, what, where's the music? Where's the music at? Everyone's like, yeah, I went for the slow motion. You know, all, all that stuff. And, and it, 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 it was just wonderful. Uh, but, but that was really cool. But uh, Helen, Georgia, uh, it's a town situated in, in, in Georgia, northern Georgia, uh, in the hills of, of Helen, Georgia, that uh, emulates a town in Bavaria. Looks like a Bavarian town. And they, do, they did a wonderful job with the, ar the architecture. The woodwork, uh, the 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 buildings, um, the food there is amazing. Uh, there's not one German restaurant in that in the, the, the town of Helen that didn't come out. That didn't taste like German. No, everyone. I was like, this it's is very authentic, authentic, huh? Very authentic, you, you know. And and I'm I'm not a negative person at all. You know, I always always try to look positive, even if it is negative. I try to make it positive, you know. Yeah. But but uh, no, it wasn't even close to that. It was like, wow, I'm impressed. They got a place called the Hatterberg Restaurant, outstanding. The Bondesee Restaurant, outstanding. Hofbrau House, outstanding. In fact, that's where we're meeting for our, our dinner at uh, that Saturday, which will be the 12th at 6 p.m. I have reservations for 40, but uh, come to find out, I'm, I'm going to have to uh, raise that number up. Maybe you have to raise that up some. I'm getting messages, private, private messages, you know, saying, hey, we're coming, we're coming. So, uh, which is fine because the manager slash owner, uh, he gave me his personal number. He goes, if you need to raise your number or if you need to lower your number, just, just let me know. Just totally let me know. Cool. There's Kenneth right there. Hey, Kenneth. Hey, buddy. That's my buddy right there. Our that's buddy, it. right? That's probably the video right there, huh? It could. You know what? It could be. Hey, Either that or it's your Kenneth. channel. That's your channel probably link. But anyway, there's the link, guys. Go check out Darren's channel. But I yeah, it, it just sounds so amazing there. It, it really is. It, it's a beautiful town. My mom's even coming. You know, oh, so, you know, oh you really? Yo, yeah, I love my mom. I That's do. awesome. Yeah, and and uh, she's going to be there. Uh, but uh, Michelle uh, from Tasty Dish is going to be there. Kick of the Cush is going to be there. Uh, Blaine's going to be there. Foreman's going to be there. I mean, uh, uh, Raphael's uh, is a huge chance he's going to he's going to be there. He says this last night he'll you know see if he can make it there. Uh, I don't want to put words in people's mouths, so I'm trying to be careful. But uh, I know right. a lot, lot of, lot of people saying that they're, they're, they're coming, and so it's like, wow, you can't that really go by. Have a great crowd. You really can't go by because you know I got the invitation and the event page, but a lot of people they don't press the yes, no, or maybe, you know, you know, mm -hmm. so you don't know. But I get messages on the side, 
you know, that's giving me all these, you know, I was like, wow, which is fine. Yeah, that, that, yeah. That's probably fine. But uh, you can't go by that. Yes, no, maybe. <laughs> because I, I bet you I got 30 messages. We're coming at least. On, We're just coming. On. Yeah. But yeah. So it's like, blow, blows me away. Uh, Northeast Georgia, uh, a mountain home, they're, home, they're, they're, they're going to be there. I mean, a lot, a lot of people are coming. So I'm, I'm in, and I hope you can make it if you can. That's so exciting. I don't know. We are, uh, saving up for our Alaska cruise. So Ooh. we're going in June, June 3rd, um, out of Seattle. And I, this is going to be our first time to Alaska. So I cannot wait. It's going to be amazing. So cool. I, I would um, love to do that. I would love to do that one day, Sherry. That that would be that'd be really cool. I've never been to Alaska. I've never been to Washington State. I'm gonna go to Washington State one day. Yeah, there's so many uh beautiful things, you know, about uh that area northeast or, or west, northwest. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Absolutely. There's there's a town out there in, in uh, Washington State called Leavenworth. Uh, Washington. Oh really? Just like uh helen it's german yeah. themed and i want to go out there too okay you know? but uh wow absolutely yeah meg's going yeah meg's, yeah meg's coming can't wait to meet her in person either hey meg yep that is just going to be incredible but yeah um uh, you know that that video that you all did with kenneth you know climbing up you know to that that waterfall i mean you just you just can't get you know because there's so many and they say that you know bad news sells you know and all this kind of stuff Sorry. but that's one of those good feel good stories that really happened i mean like i say can't make this stuff up no no and yeah you just you can't beat just real life uh and i had the pleasure of meeting kenny and branson we had a blast that's we got him cool. on the new Mystic River Falls ride. I heard about that. <laughs> this this ride, I, I waited three years for this ride to come out, right? Really? So the first time I get to ride it is with Kenny. So that was just such an honor, you know, and Blaine and Danny and Landon and Paul. And we're all in <laughs> this uh, boat. And I mean, it it really whips you around. And so, you know, I'll just never forget the look on Blaine's face. <laughs> He's going down through there. It was hilarious. Oh, was, really? Oh, yeah. yeah. And well, Kenny and Landon and it just everybody's faces, you know, it was just priceless. So show me, show me what Blaine would look like. Give, give me a Blaine face. What, what, what was Blaine face like? <laughs> <laughs> That's my Blaine impression. <laughs> I love it. He's like holding on for dear life. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> That's him. That's him. Oh my goodness. With this Bama hat on. <laughs> yeah, if I had my visor cap on it and my glasses, I'd look just like him, right? He, he might have had his Florida Gator hat on. Or something. Oh, yeah. Could, well, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know about that. I can see a he says, I almost lost my voice. <laughs> <laughs> we had such a blast. Oh, Danny says I nailed it. <laughs> hey, Danny. That's funny. But I mean, you know, these meetups like this, I mean, that is just absolutely priceless. You you can't put a price on meeting, you know, these friends that you've been talking to and seeing online for two or three years. Exactly. And then you finally get to meet them in person. And it's just absolutely amazing so i, I tell you what sherry you're, you're you're so right you know five years ago you would say oh you're gonna meet all these people online online what no you, you know but but you you do you meet people and then it's like you know you know them already and when you when you see them and you know i want to press the uh, are you a computer <laughs> screen or are you real <laughs> I got the real hugs that day and Joy Blessed Life was there. Her, oh, and her hey, Joy husband, Blessed Life. Uh, yeah, storyteller Donnie Wheeler were there. Just really? absolutely amazing, amazing people. Yeah, they are the ones that brought Kenny to Branson from Tennessee. They live out there by him oh. out in Tennessee. And so I just, every time I see them, I thank them for bringing Kenny out there to see us because so that cool. was just the absolute crown jewel of my 2021. That was just amazing. <laughs> so many 
great people out here. I mean, so many. And, and all these people that I met, including you, I mean, it's been so wonderful, you know, and it felt, it felt like friends. And I, I have an old saying, you know, I've been saying this for a long time. If, if you're a friend of mine, you're family to me, you know, and, yeah. and that, that's how that's how it works. You know? Yeah. And and we do, uh, you know, you meet these people in person and you feel like family from day one. So <laughs> that's right. That's right. Shana, yeah, we're breaking all the rules and telling, doing what our parents told us not to do by meeting people. <laughs> That's right. But, hey, you know, at least you can kind of know how they'll be, you know, whenever you meet them. I know these guys that I met are just exactly like what you see on the screen and just priceless is all I have to That's say right. about that. That's right. <laughs> okay, so we're kind of running out of time. So Ooh. just... Just a few more things I wanted to go over with you. Sure. So you told us a little bit about what um, you have planned for 2022, but just tell us, you know, some things that you have planned, some travels or things for your channel, things like that. Okay. Well, uh, I'm planning on, you know, to keep it going. Uh, every Monday I put in a new new content out. Uh, only I try to keep my Germany channel, channel about Germany. Um you know, all things Germany. I, I, I'm, I'm at least for the next three or four weeks, I have, you know, Germany content from Germany. From you know, Germany. I, always, I got some other stuff up my, my sleeve down there. Okay. Uh, but um, I, I'm going to do that. I also have another channel. That's called right. Whatever floats my boat with a twist, with is exactly like that. I, whatever is going on in this little head of mine or this big head of mine, whatever it is, you know, I, I, I put up there. And then I have a, another one. I have three channels. So my other one is oh, yeah. called, my latest is called a moment in the word where I have scripture every morning, Monday through Friday, I have scripture. And then I discuss the scripture and I keep it less than a minute and a half, no more than a minute and a half every single day, Monday through uh, Monday through Friday. And all the links are on top of my magnificent Germany channel page. Okay. All, all right there. All the links are on the page. Okay. Right. But uh, all, all um, I'm planning to go uh, to Germany in June. That's my next trip. Uh, in fact, tickets are booked. Got up, got those all booked uh, for for, uh, uh, for the meet up there. We're meeting uh, in Garmisch, Germany. We're gonna start out at the Lake Ivesy on a Friday. Whoever wants to meet me at the lake, we're gonna walk around the lake, uh, go swim in the lake, bring your picnic lunch. Uh, everybody just take their time. It's about a four and a half mile uh, trail around the lake, and uh, you just we just enjoy nature, hanging out, swimming. Oh. I'm, I'm gonna be swimming. Yeah, uh, in there, you know. Walk a little bit, swim some more. I mean, it's just beautiful. Of course, the, the main deal is at, at, uh, at noon for lunch that day on top of the Zugspitze on the Austrian side. You can walk awesome. right into Austria from Germany and back and forth. And That's and, so cool. Yeah, so, uh, uh, but I'm continuing doing my live streams. I have my morning coffee with Darren every Wednesday morning at 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Enjoy that. And then every Saturday morning at 11 is my regular, uh, regular live stream at, at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Awesome. just keeping it going yes and we are looking so forward to what you have to share with us in 2022 that is amazing oh thank you so much <laughs> next oh. week uh Hotterberg. Uh, monday's video is gonna be uh our, our trip to Hotterberg that day so yeah i can't wait for that good day mate Good day, good day, good day to the down unders. There's your moment in the word. Hey, uh, thanks, Blaine. Right there, yeah. Awesome, awesome. Appreciate yeah, I, uh, I saw I saw at least one of those videos. I want to have to catch up on the rest. Yeah, cool deal. Yeah, but that I love that. You know, just being able to have an inspiration. You know, every morning and you know just a little. Uh, moment in the word right well, that's right that's right that's another thing you know like like i mentioned earlier i love sharing what i like and yeah. I, I i do that every single morning I've been doing that for years but i'm like you know what hey why not put it on a youtube just to just to share and it maybe helps somebody yeah. you know and, yeah and because we'll, you know busy people like me i like to listen to things you know while i'm doing other things and you know i can i can listen to that easier than i can sit down and read you know, right, right, so if, if you can if you can um, put it on YouTube and and speak it, then I can listen while I'm busy. I absolutely. love that. And, and that's why I try to keep it a minute and a half or less. You mm -hmm. know, instead of you're bogged down for a half hour, which I, I could easily do that. But <laughs> you know, yeah. but uh, I, I just like to uh, 
just keep it, you know, concise and to the point. Short and sweet. Yeah. Look what Blaine says. We need encouragement today. Absolutely, Blaine. <laughs> yep. So I love it, love it, love it. All right, Darren. So we're getting to the end of the hour. Is there really? anything else that you want to share? Yes, there is. One more thing. If there's anyone out there, send them a voice. If you have not yet subscribed to Sherry Awesome Sunsets, <laughs> I want to encourage you to do, that, to do that today because Sherry is a wonderful, sweet human being. And, uh, and I enjoy her very much. So uh, that's all I got to say about that. Thank you. And I say the same for Darren. If you guys have not subscribed to Darren's channel, you've got to go subscribe. You've got to go uh, support this amazing, amazing channel. Uh, he has absolutely exploded over, when did you start? A year ago? Uh, or not even? February 2019. It was slow for about a year. Okay. And then all of a sudden. Yeah. Okay. So 2019. Still, that's a very uh, young channel. So, yeah, he has totally uh, exploded and still growing and just subscribed. Oh, thank you, Kathy. That's awesome. See, hopefully you'll get a few subscribers out of today. Oh, thank you so much, Kathy. I appreciate that. Actually, I think it was 2020. I don't know. I have to, I have to look yeah, I that. was thinking it was, you've only been uh, like a year or two, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, a year or two, maybe. Time, time flies so quick. <laughs> it does. It really does. But, you know, you've worked hard. And every time that I pull up Facebook or YouTube, I see Darren there. I mean, you are there. You're on it. And and that's that's how you win, you know? Yeah. I like I enjoy people. I enjoy supporting other people too. And, and you know, and you know, it it, 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 it's, it it takes a lot of work, but it but it's good work. Yeah. And, but and, it uh, is. and the, the best the best part of it all, meeting people. Yeah, mm -hmm. meeting awesome people. Like Sherry at Awesome Sunsets. <laughs> yeah, connection. You know, it's all about that connecting uh, with people. And yeah, when I first started YouTube, um, I did. I didn't think there would be. I don't know. I I didn't and never imagined that I would make a community or be a part of a community. But you know, I first got pulled in by the live streamers in Disney World because I was looking up the Candlelight Processional in Epcot. I don't know if you've ever seen that show. I'll have to send you a link if you no, haven't yeah. seen it. Oh my gosh. They tell, the, they tell the uh, story of Christmas uh, with, you know, full orchestra and full choir. And it's just, really? oh, it's moving. I see, I got cold chill bumps again. It is so moving. You got to see it. And, Please send me that. You know, yeah. So I thought, you know, because we were getting ready to go to Disney World like the next year. And I thought, I wonder if anybody had, you know, and I've been hearing about YouTube and having videos. I was like, I wonder if they have a video about Candlelight Processional. And I looked it up in there and it said Resort TV One was live. And he was actually live in Epcot streaming Candlelight Processional. I was like, oh my gosh, I wow. am sitting here in my living room in Missouri and I am watching this live that's going on in my favorite place in the whole wide world and well disney world you know exactly. I was like oh my gosh and then i you know i saw him talking to people and and i i spoke to him and he actually spoke back to me called me by name and i was like oh my goodness i'm hooked, <laughs> I'm hooked. <laughs> so it just you know built from there but i never dreamed i'd have a channel and then you know i used to do a lot of like facebook lives and stuff like that because of my travel agency and so i thought well maybe i can do it you know on youtube uh, because it was a little hard to share the facebook lives so i thought well maybe i could put it on youtube and share it you know and have it on YouTube and Facebook and share it to Twitter and all the other social medias, you know. And but I I honestly thought that the only people that I would meet would be, you know, just like strangers, you know. Right. Strange strangers, you know, like the oh, yeah. trolls that we get in here sometimes. Oh boy. Never dreamed that there would be a community out there of like-minded people like myself that like the same things that I like, it just blew my mind. It's amazing, isn't it? It's, it's, it's amazing. I didn't know it existed. Did you? 
No, not not the descent this way. I, I mean, first time I ever heard a live stream was Walter's World, um, b about a year before the pandemic. I was like, oh, this is cool. This is Walter's World. And everything. I got to meet him several times too. Him and his wife. They've been in my house actually. And everything. He's an amazing guy. Oh yes. Like. Yeah. Yes. He, he, if you haven't heard uh, anybody have heard of Walter's World, I mean, he's he's a uh, Awesome. He, he knows this stuff. He's a, prof uh, a uh, professor as well, University of Illinois. Oh, yes. Okay. Yep. Yeah, and, I uh, did hear him saying something about that. That's awesome. His wife, Jocelyn, uh, she went to SCAD in, in uh, Savannah, Georgia. Architect She's an architect. Oh, okay. And everything. And she has a channel too called Simply jo Jocelyn, mm -hmm. where she, she cooks like every like, Friday. She has something different, <laughs> but uh, she's wonderful. That's amazing. Yeah, I'm so happy that. All of our, our journeys came together, and here we meet together on YouTube. This That's is right. amazing. That's right. <laughs> you should leave a YouTube. I love yeah. YouTube. I, yeah. I didn't mean to do that. That just came out. And then you, yeah. And you're learning a lot more German, aren't you? I know, like on your lives, a lot of people were talking to you in German, and you were. Yes. And I, I, I asked them to do that, actually. You know, you know sometimes I, I, okay, scale back because I might have people in the chat. I can't keep up because you know I try to go back and, and decipher. Um, I I'm not fluent, but that is my goal, and I'm not perfect. That is, that's that's for sure. I can get around. I can eat. I can <laughs> I can eat. I can uh, eat. I, 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 I can travel last directions. Um, but but I, I do feel I'm getting better because uh, people are talking, and I'm understanding what they're what they're saying. That's and, amazing. And, uh, without even realizing it, and then I. When I'm in Germany, it just like it, it just flows, it just spits out of me. I'm like, did I just say that? <laughs> I think I, I just say? said that. <laughs> you know, like I, like in a store and saying something, it will just come out, and I was like, wow, I'm pretty proud of myself. That's <laughs> great. Really yes, that's but amazing. Repetition, you know, just repetition, repetition. And, and everything. And uh, yeah. I know you got to go, but if I can tell you this one one quick thing, go ahead. I was on no, the uh, time. I was on a train. This is back in twenty. This is twenty nineteen. Um, yeah, twenty nineteen. September 2019, and uh, there was a school, a bunch of school boys there, probably 12, 13 years old, and they were laughing, you know, at that time, you know, I had a gut on me, okay? Oh, no. I, I, I curbed it down a lot. Uh -huh. but, uh, you know, not just right there, not anywhere else, just there. And I heard him say, look at that fat American in German. And I, I just said, well, I just understood what they said, so I, I, I just sat there. And uh, and I, I don't asked, think you can understand him. No, uh, no, and, and everything. And he was saying he probably ate a lot of bratwurst or something. And, <laughs> and I, I said to him in German that uh, I said, well, actually, I had I had three bratwurst about an hour ago, but do I look that fat in German? It was, <gasps> <coughs> I did it in German. <laughs> to be like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And they're like, one of the kids. He had to be twelve. That's hilarious. Like, Please don't tell my father. I, said, I don't even know who your father is. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, you should have messed with them. Say, I'm going to find your dad. Oh, yeah. See, in Germany, they, they don't have school buses. They use public transportation. for. Oh, oh they, wow. They were, yeah, they were, they were going to school, but he was worried to death. I was going to tell his dad. <laughs> I'm sorry. Please forgive me, Mr. Oh, Mr. American. Now uh, you're Mr. Mr. American, huh? <laughs> yeah. Well, actually, I had three brought words about an hour ago. <laughs> oh, I'm so proud of you, though. Learning another language is really, really difficult. I don't even know. Oh, it's uh, when, when I was there as a kid. And oh, you know, I mean, I'm sorry. When, when I was there as a kid, when I, I was in fourth grade. We had a uh, uh, a teacher come in once a week to teach German for all fourth grade. So I knew how to count one to a hundred in fourth grade. Oh, and nice. that's where I learned how to say I love you in German because Valentine's Day says go home to your parents. And especially your your mother, and say each liebe dich. And what's that mean? It means I love you. So I was oh, coming cool. home. Each liebe dich, mama. <laughs> I love. You. That's so beautiful. I love there. that. Yeah. All right, Darren. Well, I guess we'll go ahead and wrap it up. All right. But thank you so much for coming. I appreciate it. And it's just a blast talking to you. Hey, likewise, Sarah. Thank you so much for having me. Like I said, it was an honor and an absolute pleasure being here. And I uh, got, got to hang out with Sherry and, and all our friends there. That, that's awesome. Yeah, I'm so glad that we have, you know, met all of these people here in this YouTube community. And we love and appreciate all of our viewers. Thank you guys so much. If it wasn't for you, we'd have no reason to be here, right? That's absolutely right.
<laughs> we'd just be talking to ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, thank you guys. Oh, there you go. Blaine's got. Donka, got <laughs> Donka. You say Donka or you say Donka Shun? Yeah, so that's like a, yeah. There you go. Yeah, and that's when I say Donka Shun shoes. I'm saying I'm saying thank you, bye bye. That's what I'm saying. Thank right you, bye bye. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Donka Shun shoes. Yeah. I say it right. Yeah, yeah exactly. Donka Shun shoes. Donka Shun shoes. I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and say it. All right. Well, can you can you help okay. me? Can you help me say it? Okay. And then as soon as we say it, well, I'll I'll, I'll click out. Okay. If that's okay with you. Yeah. All right. Eins, zwei, drei. Doggers and shoes. Oh, yes, we oh. got whoever that is. Thank you, Sherry, so much. You Thank have a great you, one. Darren. Bye have bye, a good guys. one. You too. All right, guys. Wasn't that amazing? Is that amazing or what? Oh my goodness. Oh, we've got some all kinds of German coming in now. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. You guys are awesome. Thank you, Kenneth. Okay, so we're going to go raid D&G Explorers. There's the link. Thank you guys so much for coming. So I think that's all we had for today. Thank you all so much for coming. Have a blessed and magical day, and I will see you on the beaches of the world. Thanks, guys. Bye.